And we are back. This is The 100, Season 6, Episode 8. The last episode before our next two-week hiatus. Lovely. <laughs> Waiting is always fun. JK, it sucks. Um, actually really looking forward to this episode. I really hope it's a good one, because... I've had a pretty shitty day today. I'm not gonna go into detail, but it's just been a really bad day for me, so... I'm really hoping this is a good episode to bring my mood back up. I have a gut feeling we're gonna end on a cliffhanger, because... 5A ended with Bellamy poisoning Octavia with the Monty's algae. I think this might end with Clark getting her body back. And that'll be the cliffhanger. If not, then it's some other. It's definitely gonna end on a cliffhanger, but I think that's gonna be it. But I could be wrong, but either way, it's a cliffhanger. As for what that is. <laughs> oh god. I'm not ready. Who are you? Oh no. Oh, oh, it's so sweet. I love their friendship. John, what is this? Is he about to propose? The more I love you, the more that I know I've never been perfect or even. This close. bitch gonna propose. <laughs> You make me want to be. And we've been through so much and survived so much. What are those? My drugs. And Maury, will you be immortal with me? First they make us night bloods, then they make us primes. She thought he was going to propose. I'll never die. Go. Oh shit, Octavia, Octavia, it's not real. Just keep going, Octavia, it's not real. Amori. Don't do this, Amori. She can't do it. I knew it. Clark's alive. Well, he already knows that. <laughs> you already knew. Why didn't you tell me? Because I'm with John. Maury. Never mind. Now she's gonna change her mind what to go back to Murphy. You think you have time? Tell me. You're wiping her today. That's what this is for. I hope maybe not. So Maury is on our side. Let's go time. We need a plan to get Clark now. Something other than killing them. Who the hell's Maddie? Oh, fuck, Maddie. <gasps> oh, shit, Maddie. Oh, my God. Turning her into a monster. Shit. I guess it's your turn. Raven, if we don't do this, Marcus dies too. Then that man who sacrificed his life for oh, stop. His... And would Cain want that? Do you honestly think this is what Cain would want? Thank you! No. But no, probably not. Then why are you doing this? He'll hate you for it. Maybe. Maybe you're right. Uh-uh. I might lose him. But at least he gets a chance to live. <laughs> I am not doing this for me. Neither am I. <laughs> Get up. Abby! Uh... Oh, shit. Run, baby. Run, 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 run. Run, Amori. God, I love you. I love you, Amori. Shit, Murphy! I really hope she convinces him to stop. Oh, wait, no. Josephine's with her. What's that? So it's Bellamy. Hi. Oh. <laughs> you know, I admire you guys. I really do. If the other primes had half your balls, we'd be swimming in Holston. None of this would be necessary. But unfortunately, 
It is. So I'm gonna give you the facts because I really don't think you thought this through. Yes, Clark's a lie. It's Bellamy. Of Bellamy. course he has. <laughs> oh no 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 no. Step away from the device. Don't kill Murphy though. Think we care about that traitor? Lord knows he shouldn't. Oh, but yeah. Bellamy, we can't just let her do it though. Soda. No good choices. Clark resolved this. Either you let Murphy die in a doomed attempt to save her, starting a war with my father. Or we stay friends or live happily ever after. Oh. Take a minute. Damn it. God damn it. Oh. oh. Wait, it was just a leg. Knock her out. Echo, I can't believe I'm saying this, but knock her out! Oh, shit. Did she get an artery? If she got an artery, he's gonna bleed. Shut up, bitch. If it doesn't work, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, good, it worked. Go, 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 go. Get back up like a good little bitch. Move it, bitch. There we go. No, 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 She still cares about Abby. Can we get Raven showing that she cares about Clark too? Uh-uh. 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 Octavia? Where's Dioza? Her hand. It's better, but where's Dioza? Where's Dioza? Ah. It wasn't your turn. He didn't care. You jumped the line. Your own people are gonna turn against you. They got some shields. He's in the east. Where children of Gabriel territory. <laughs> How many are with Josephine? They're not talking, sir. We'll see about that. Put them with the others. Fuck you, bitch. Get the guns. Distribute them to the guards. Do whatever it takes to bring my daughter home. Uh oh, spaghetti o. <laughs> what? Uh, okay, I really don't give two fucks, but. <laughs> Can we get Clark Bellamy and Justin content, please? I'm not interested in this shit. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Kane's not gonna approve. I saved you. She did what she wanted. She didn't give a fuck about what you wanted. If that ended right here, end it with Bellamy and Josephine.
You know what? Fuck that. I'm gonna go get some wine. <laughs> that bullshit. Oh, bullshit. We didn't have any wine. So I'm really pissed about that. So. This isn't wine, but it's just Dr. Pepper. But you know what? This will have to do. Shit. I almost just dropped the fucking cap. We didn't have any wine, so. It's okay. Jason can pay for that. So as y'all can see, I'm pissed. <laughs> Out of all things to end the episode on, they choose to end it on Abby. Why? Just, she actually fucking did it. She saved Kane and put him his mind in another body. She's so focused on saving Kane, she was doing what she wanted to do. She didn't give a fuck about what Marcus wanted. And now she gets to deal with the consequences. But in her mind, it's, oh, I don't care if he hates me. I don't care if we're never together as long as he's alive. Like, you know, bitch, can you choke? Honestly, like, pfft, just choke. I don't care if you choke on piss. I don't care if you choke on a fucking coin. Just choke. I don't care anymore. I've literally lost all my respect for Abby, please. Oh my god. I can't. And the fact that they ended the episode off with that. I knew we were going to end with a cliffhanger, but I thought it was going to be with Bellamy and Josephine, not with Abby. Ugh. What kind of meta bullshit is that? Uh, uh. Okay. Overall, this was pretty anticlimactic. The, in, the more interesting parts of the episode was with Bellamy, Josephine, and, and Maureen and Murphy. Those were the, that was the interesting part. Jordan. Oh my fucking god. Jordan better be okay. He's the only part of Monty we have left. If they kill him, I'm suing. Jason, do you hear me? I am suing you if you kill Jason, okay? Have you no heart? Okay, so... <laughs> um... Next week, two weeks, the episode in two weeks looks, you know, I don't know. They stopped giving us longer promos. They got short promos now, so I can't really judge them. And Dioza, is Dioza dead? I hope not, because she's one of the only few interesting on this show left that I actually like. But no, if they wanted to kill Dioza, I think they would have done it in a better way, so I don't think she's dead. So... The only thing I'm looking forward to in the next episode is Bellamy and Josephine. Other than that, I don't care. I don't want to see Abby. I don't want to see Raven. I don't want to see Russell ding a ling a ding along I don't want to see... anyone that annoys me. I just want to see Bellamy and Josephine and get Clark back. I legit thought this episode was going to end with them getting Clark back. But no! I'm not drunk. I'm just pissed. <laughs> I wish I was drunk, though. After that shit ending, I wish I was drunk. Well, be sure to let me know what you thought of that episode. That was the 100 Season 6 episode... 7? Oh, no, that was episode 8. <laughs> Forgot it was episode 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 episodes left of the season. I mean, it wasn't a terrible episode. It was just a little anticlimactic and... I don't give a fuck about Abby or Raven. <laughs> Not anymore. It's it's honestly kind of sad because Raven's one of my favorite characters and they made me hate her this season. Like, I'm going to be honest. I'm hating her more than Echo. Well, I'm going to be honest for again. I don't have a problem with Echo this season, to be honest. Echo really hasn't done much to annoy me. Like, I don't love her. I will never love Echo. Like, if you watch my season 5 reactions, like, toward the beginning, I wanted to give Echo a chance, but they just, when they put her and Bellamy together, I just couldn't, because I just couldn't. And it still bu bugs me that Becco is together. What bothers me is I really do want to give Echo a chance, and I will never love her, and she'll never be my favorite, but I could like her. What annoys me is they act like she can only be interesting if she's with Bellamy. Like... If they want me to like Echo so bad, which I do, part of me wants to give her a chance and wants to like her. If they really want me to like her, Becco has to break up. Because in their eyes, it's like she can only be interesting if she's with Bellamy. 
Why does Bellamy have to be what makes Echo interesting? Echo should be what makes Echo interesting. Give Echo more depth and a storyline that doesn't involve Bellamy. Give her, her, make her her own person that's not with Bellamy. Like, give her her own depth, her own development, her own storyline that doesn't involve Bellamy. And the first step to that would be Becca breaking up. And I know what y'all, some of y'all are going to say, Oh, you just want Becca to break up because you want Balark. <sighs> Listen. I've said it multiple times. I'll probably be saying it until this show ends, which can it not end with season seven? It might, but we haven't gotten an announcement, so I'm going to say it again. I don't hate Echo because I ship Balark. It's so much more than that, but I'm not going through the details because I've already said it a million times and I'm probably saying it again, so... <sighs> I hated Echo even before Becco became a thing, but like I said, I don't really hate her anymore. Whatever hate I had for her is kind of just gone, but I don't love her. I don't think I could ever love Echo, but I do want to give her a chance and I do want to sort of, I'm mean, gonna not love her, but sort of like her, but in order for that to happen, Becco has to break up because it's like, like I said, it feels like they're only trying to make me like Echo if she's with Bellamy. Why does Bellamy have to be what makes her interesting? Echo should be what makes Echo interesting. But that's just me. Well, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode and that ending. And your theories for the next episode. And I will see you guys next time.